Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Osmo.com DraftKings lineup building show presented by FanUp. I'm going to be building three lamps for this uh, conference final slate. And it's only two games, so uh, I think game theory is going to be more important than than like picking the best players for sure. Just how you like balance players from these two games. So uh, I'm going to try to build three lineups demonstrating that. Let's start with uh, our chalk stack. That's Mahomes. I mean, last game's uh, last week's game versus Buffalo was was ridiculous, <laughs> and he, uh, he uh, this is a team that passes a ton, and uh, they've even been playing Jarek McKinnon a lot more, which his strength is in the passing game. So um, versus Cincinnati, that also passes a good amount. We could see another shootout. Uh, although last week was crazy. All right. So how would I stack up the Chiefs? Probably one of Hill and Kelsey, although they are somewhat cheap this week. You could potentially play both. But um, let's go with uh, let's go with Kelsey. And then one of the kind of off the radar plays is me, Cole Hardman. He's been playing more recently with the team not using Josh Gordon. So I think Hardman is. Uh, is a sleeper that maybe people aren't really that excited about playing. And then um, I think you can, uh, you could stack up three guys. Uh, I probably do that more often than not. So um, <clears throat> I think Pringle is pretty reasonable. Let's come back to that. I'm not sure exactly who I want, but I do want, um, actually, I'm thinking about it. McKinnon makes sense. Um, I don't necessarily want to play Joe Mixon um, in a in a Kansas City stack because game stacking in a two game slate really isn't as important. So I just know I want to play either Mixon or McKinnon. If Mahomes is gonna get there uh, and be the highest scoring quarterback. It's not like Kansas City has to be trailing for most of the game. <laughs> So maybe I'll run it back with some wide receivers like uh, on, on Cincinnati. Uh, Chase, Higgins, Boyd, all fantastic options. Uh, let's go with Higgins. Honestly, like uh, like I was saying, like picking the best plays isn't going to really be an easy task this week because there's such a limited player pool. All right, let's go down to game two. Um, I think that playing one running back from both team uh both games makes sense uh so i think we we could go with mitchell we could go with acres acres will definitely be more popular with mitchell um in a stack with kansas city that's kind of higher owned could be a nice uh leverage play and then uh we want to get a defense i think going with the chiefs defense almost makes the most sense in this lineup so far we got a couple more plays. Uh, we got a fill here. Cooper Cup, obviously a fantastic player. Let's see how much that leaves us with, 3,600. And that's enough to get CG, CJ Ozoma. The one thing here is um, actually the way I built this. Um, okay, so I have one player from LA, one player from San Francisco. This almost feels like I want to have the San Francisco defense here. Okay, so I'm not worrying as much about contrary and ranking and value ranking this week because I'm really trying to, to do the game theory to get the wins here and not as much uh, projection and ownership. I just feel like getting an edge in those two categories is, is very difficult in two game slates. All right, before we get to lineup two, I want to mention FanUp, our sponsor. They're giving you 20 bucks for free, basically, without even depositing to try out their product, uh, which is a DFS game. And uh, you, they have con contests for the conference finals and NBA. Make sure to go to the App Store to download FanUp. And uh, if you use that promo code Awesome, you get 2,000 free player points, which uh, is $20 value without even having to, to drop any money on uh, deposit. So they're really just giving you 20 bucks to try it out, and uh, I'll take that. All right, lineup two. Uh, let's go with Joe Burrow. Uh, I think that 
uh, Cincinnati, like most likely is going to have to pass a lot. So uh, I think that the stack makes sense. And really two or three of any of Chase, Boyd, Higgins, Uzoma makes sense. Uh, let's go with Higgins, Boyd. And then I think um, you could play Mixon in this lineup, but I almost feel like you want to play McKinnon uh, and hope that Kansas City has a good day. Or you could play Elaire. Um, although he didn't get that much uh, snap share last week. All right. Let's um, let's throw in. Um, so Cincinnati is going to be uh, passing a lot. We're going to expect that Kansas City also uh, puts up a lot of points. So let's uh, throw Tyree Kill in this lineup. And then from the second game, we went with Mitchell last time. Uh, since we went with the lower on stack, maybe we go with the chalk option, Cam Akers. And we got three plays left. Uh, stacking Rams, Cam Akers makes sense here. Rams are definitely the, the chalk defense. Got 6,600 left per player. So I think uh, we could just fade the, the 49ers entirely, although I do like George Kittle. Getting that tight end uh, spot versus defense, I feel like maybe it gets you a little bit lower ownership, uh, but the, the salaries really aren't working out here. So um, let's go with Cobb. And then we got 4,400 left for a uh, t tight end. So this is, uh, I think we could throw in Higby here. Uzoma, though, makes a little bit more sense uh, given that we have the um, the quarterback. So if we had Cup and Higby, Bro and, and uh, Stafford, it's not as clear which one would be in the winning lineup. You want to just give yourself a little bit better chance to win by uh, by building a lineup where you're not flipping at quarterback uh, when it comes to who's going to be in the winning lineup. All right, so I just flipped uh, Higgins for Chase to get an extra point and a half in projection. The value ranking is very good, 143 projection compared to 136. Uh, the ownership uh, very high, but uh, this is kind of the dilemma this week. So, lineup three. This is the Ram stack. So, uh, they are playing in a dome, and that's going to be really favorable. Uh, although the weather in Kansas City is not bad this week, so I think if you play Stafford, like you don't want to get too fancy. You probably want to play Cup. Probably want to play. I think you could play three pass catchers, honestly. Like, um, we probably Cam Akers. I don't know if I want to play Mitchell versus Stafford and, and play that San Francisco is going to put up a lot of points. That uh, that kind of approach doesn't tend to work in a two-game slate as well because uh, most of the time, one team is going to put up a good uh, show and the other team is not. So... Let's uh, throw Cam, Cam Akers Cup, and then uh, I think uh, Van Jefferson's going kind of under on this week, so I do like him. Uh, in game one, we got to get a running back, so let's go with Mixon in this lineup. Let's assume that Cincinnati gets some some uh, of it going on the ground. Let's pick Kelsey, and let's pick the Bengals uh, defense. All right, now we got... Uh, I'm kind of doing a San Francisco fade in this lineup. So I think we can pull that off by just picking another Bengal and picking another Chief. So let's go with uh, Higgins and Pringle. So this actually may be the best lineup. Uh, we got a good contrarian ranking, got a good value ranking. The stack looks good. The correlations look pretty solid. So guys, I hope this gave you some idea of how to build some lives for the conference finals. Make sure to check out our sponsor, FanUp. They're giving away 20 bucks free for you to try their DFS uh, products. So go to the App Store, download FanUp. All right, guys, good luck this week.